What's up, everybody? Hope y'all doing well today. So I wanted to do a follow up video on a previous video that I just recently did. I wanted to just make this video for some clarification because it did cause a little bit of controversy. So so in that video, I stated when completing the dungeon, whatever set item you get dropped, that's basically going to be the best set item you are able to get. And what I was trying to say is that said item isn't tied to Paragon level, it's just tied to difficulty. So that's that's what I was getting at. But I did make a, a, a major mistake that that's why I want to make this video to clarify. So real quick before we get started, just watch this clip. Did it relatively fast. So in my head, I'm thinking I'm like, well, should I go run 500 Cavern of Echoes this week because it is the weekly dungeon? And the answer yeah. is simply no, not right yeah. now because if I run Cavern of Echoes a month later, the gear is going to be that much better right okay uh the legendary gear that's dropping maybe he's referring to the legendary gear that's dropping and that is affected by things like magic find etc from legendary gyms i will say this though there is a very um there's a large amount of people that don't understand set gear is literally the exact same no matter what your paragon level is like a lot of people don't get this so if, if you get into hell five and you start farming the the sets literally the second that you get can get to hell five or even before and get carried, like that gear will always be as good as any Paragon level you get. So the dungeons actually stay the same, but he is 100%. So as y'all can see with DM, uh, Darth Micro transaction said, he pretty much said what I said, whatever set item you get to drop in a dungeon, that's gonna be the best set item you could get. You don't have to worry about grinding it. It's not tied to Paragon level, blah, blah, blah. But, and I, I did a bunch of research cause I was getting a lot of comments on that video saying the information was wrong and I don't wanna, put out wrong information so i've been i've been researching this i've been kind of looking through the internet and i did find this uh one post on reddit this guy was did what 150 mad king breaches and he he got a, the same set piece to drop and it was basically the exact same stats <laughs> uh that he had before so after watching the the dm video after seeing this post i was like okay well my information wasn't wrong it was in fact correct so we're done don't have to worry about it anymore but i just couldn't let it go i really want to bring y'all the right information so i kept doing research and i was like well how, how am i going to be able to actually prove whether that this info is right or wrong i was thinking about it then i was like look it's really it's kind of simple it's not that difficult we could just go to the leaderboards we could find somebody that has the same set piece and we'll just see if the stats are different so that's what i did so i came to this guy here uh and i checked his awakener's urge right so this is uh 252 hell difficulty uh, i'm sorry hell five and as you can see the stats are 187 and 192 for his awakener's urge okay so i came back down i think it was this person here yes awakener's urge 175 and 176 and actually a higher paragon level but this is both still hell five so uh what i'm thinking it is well like a few people said on the, the in the comments on that video and what i'm thinking it is i think it does have a cap so what i'm thinking the stat cap is per set item i'm thinking is the 192 i think that's the highest you could get but it's not tied to paragon so i mean like i said this is level 252 and the other one was higher with worse stats so I, I i don't believe it's tied to paragon level i still think that it is tied to hell difficulty but the thing is i think it's rng so basically you could get the best stats if you're only level 250 or you could get the worst stats if you paragon level 400 like i don't think it matters i think it's rng and you just got to get lucky uh or of course you'll be unlucky if you get worse stats which is th this this system kind of sucks because it takes so long to form set pieces so you would want to think that the 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 way they drop was how I explained it. You'll just get the best one and not have to worry about it anymore because grinding for these set pieces are just so tedious. So that's what I'm thinking now. That's what the evidence is, is looking like as far as how the set items drop. So I wanted to make this video just to clarify. Uh, a lot of people that commented that I was wrong, y'all were in fact right. But I think that I'm still right on the whole uh, not being tied to Paragon level thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this cleared up a few things. I, I really appreciate it everybody that's commented whether it was positive or negative saying i was right or wrong that don't matter i just really appreciate y'all being here so thank y'all so much i'm out